Ahoy! Avast, you lads and laddies! How's it going? We're back playing Undertale today. Uh, look at that drop shadow. Dang. So dramatic. Uh, last time on our little adventure, we went on a date with Papyrus. We decided to be platonic friends because we love each other platonically. And he's actually going to sell us out. Um, I was hiding in those bushes not too long ago, and I saw him and Undyne chatting up something about humans, and Sneeze is the only human here. So Undyne's actually kind of terrifying to me so far. Uh, she was gonna throw a giant spear at me in these bushes. Also there's this little kid who keeps following us around who really wants to be like Undyne, so yeah. That's where we're at. But, uh, let's continue in this dark and creepy cavern cave thing. Which is really weird because, like, this is more terrifying than the catacombs. And the catacombs were, you know, they're catacombs. But they were super brightly lit. So, we'll see where this uncharted territory takes us next. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Okay, I'm guessing this is a bridge seed. <gasps> Mouse sneeze! Oh look, I have a cool hat now. I like how I just carry everything with my head. Boop! Okay, I need all four of them. Oh no! <laughs> I dropped one. Hmm. Maybe if I go back. Whew! Okay. Alright. Let's not mess it up this time. I think it's a joystick on my controller sometimes. Maybe I should use the D-pad. There we go. Hey, a bridge! Take it to the bridge! That looks like a crack in the wall, but there's nothing there. Okay, keep moving. Ooh. Uh oh. <clears throat> Aaron flexes in. <laughs> See, like a horse, man, snake, eel thing? What's up, Aaron? Um, what if I flex back at you? You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. Oh, oh jeez. Aaron is ready for your next flex. If I shoe him, go away. Wow, spunky. Love it. Oh. Ah, this is not working for me. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Can I? Ah. Oh. Okay. Flex even harder at him. <laughs> Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Okay. Nice. I won't lose though. Ew. What is that? Like sweat? Oh god. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Uh, yeah. Let me flex again. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> You won! Hey, 30 gold! Sorry, Aaron. Sneeze has the muscles of steel. <laughs> um, I can't read that sign because it's over there. Hmm. Okay. So we've got some mushrooms. Oh. Hey, a bell. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Okay, cool. So I guess this is a puzzle.
Oh, I see. It's flowing up here. Okay, well, let's see, so I need four to connect, I don't think four will fit there, but I need to get to that side. this side have to do with it? Hmm. Puzzles. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. So you guys get to see how dumb I really am. Yeah, nope. Okay. How do we do this? This water flows this way. Hey. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Heck yeah! Abandoned quiche. Just bench. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this one's staying intact. Let's see what we're gonna do next. spot I can see that they would connect so just let it go this way. Ha there we go. Now I can get up here. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! 
I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? Papyrus. We agree agreed to be platonic, bro. I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? I don't know if I trust you anymore, Papyrus. You sold me out to Undyne. Uh, you know what? Because he's my friend, I'll, I'll trust him. Maybe he'll stick up for me. So! You are wearing a bandana! Got it! Wink wink! Have a nice day! Quick. <sighs> Papyrus, I swear if you're selling me out, bro. Hello, flower. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, you could wish your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Oh, instead of stars. Okay. Wishing room. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. And then wishing to go back to the surface? Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Oh. Washua shuffles up. What's up, Washua? He's got a rubber ducky. Um. Is his name is Washua, so let's try clean. <laughs> you ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. <laughs> Green means clean! Okay. It's gonna be like vegetoid, doesn't it? Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no! Give me a clean! Washua is rinsing off a pizza. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <gasps> yes! Okay. 25 gold. Sweet! Okay, Washua. <laughs> Let's do this telescope. Yes. Check wall. Check wall. Okay. So do we check this wall? Hmm. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. <laughs> True. Uh Checking the walls. Oh, this wall. Whoa. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take every soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Hmm. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside of the human body, even after death. Ooh, that's creepy. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. Monster with a human soul, horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Ooh, okay. Whoa. Okay, that happened. I don't know if I can get back. Oh no! There was another room that way! Oh, the darkness returns. Am I gonna be chased or something? Come on out, Undyne! I know you're here! Or maybe Papyrus? Papyrus, buddy? Who? <laughs> Hi! Please leave me alone! Ah! Ah! Yikes! 
Oh god! Oh jeez! Oh no! Stop chasing me! Oh god! Oh jeez! Oh no! Nope! 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 Oh! Oh! <laughs> she got me! Whew. You cannot give up just yet. Sneeze! Stay determined. Oof. Yikes. I need to replenish my health. Oh, I'm back in here. Interesting. Okay. I should probably eat something. What that abandoned quiche? Sweet. Okay. I want to see what was this way. Oh. Okay, I guess I didn't miss anything over here. I just gotta watch out for freaking Undyne, the creeper in the corner. Why does she want to kill me? Because I'm a human? Yee! Yeah, okay! Can't we just be friends? Ah, ah. Nope. Nope. Oh, shoot, she just stayed. Ah! I'm done, you don't get it! Ah! Oh, jeez. Ah! Please stop chasing me! Ah! Tall bushes. Eee! Oh, no. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, <gasps> that's that. That's the kid, isn't it? Yeah, please leave. You're scary. <laughs> um. Oh. Hey kid, are you still in there? Yeah, you. Yo! Did you see that? Undyne just... touched me! <laughs> I'm never watching my face ever again! Man, you are unlucky. Or are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left... Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see you again. Oh! He keeps tripping. <laughs> oh gosh, she is terrifying. First, I thought she cut into him, but yikes! Whoa, this cheese has been here so long. A magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Does that mean there's a mouse in here? Yep. <laughs> Squeak. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal fills you with determination. Perfect. Wow, okay. <gasps> Sands! Maybe you can tell me why she's chasing me. Thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally like five, fifty thousand, yeah, a lot. <laughs> I can read, I promise. It's normally 50,000 to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Yeah, if I can use it for free. Uh, is there a whoopee cushion on the front of it or something? It's all red. Oh, you are satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> a free? <laughs> Thanks, Sans. Okay. Hello. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Whoa, that escalated. Are you a star? No, I'm not. Whoa, what happened to my eye? Oh! 
You dirty boy. Why would you do this? Now it looks like I have pink eye. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sans. What's up here? Oh, hello. You're the ice cream guy. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get customers to come back. Hello, would you like some nice cream? <laughs> it's the frozen treat that roams your heart. Now just 25 gold. Sure, I'll take one. Super, here you go. Cards in the box. Thanks. Guess I'll leave the cards behind. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Dang, you expanded fast, bro. Do do do. I don't like you. Uh. Hey, there's a duck. Guess we should go down first. This is pretty. Cool colors. More echo flowers. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. I thought I saw another flower over here. Uh oh. Mold smalls! Hi guys! Bye guys! I don't know how I feel about this grass. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Sure. Why not? Okay. Got me some ballet shoes. Hello! This is Papyrus! Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. <laughs> yeah, no... no dip, Sherlock. What the heck? But, I bet you already knew that. And, because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. Why would you do that, Papyrus? A bandana! Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Oh, okay, I guess that's a hint to change my clothes. Uh, the bandana. I don't know if I can drop the bandana. Oh well. I have ballet shoes now. That's a little different. Ugh. What's up, Aaron? Let's flex. Flex contest. Okay. Flex more. Ew, ew, ew. I sweat. Flex again! Flex yourself out of this room, bro. Oh. Yep, there you go. Bye! <laughs> Don't 
seen it. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Okay. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh boy. Uh... gosh. Well, hello! <laughs> I don't even know what to give this one. Hey there! Notice you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san here? You here? Uh-huh. You're visiting the waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Huh? Yeah, me too! It's my big favorite. Okay, bye Onion-san. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay! It beats moving to the city! And living in a crow dad a a Oh, pff, crow dad, wow. And living in a crowded aquarium! Like all my friends did. Okay, bye. And the aquarium's full. Anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? Yeah, you guys really like this Undyne person. I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Okay, bye, Onyasun. Hey, there. Uh, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In the waterfall. <laughs> okay. Wow. I heard him. Oh. Shiren hides in the corner but somehow encounters you anyway. <laughs> Okay, smile. He asks to see Shiren's smile too. Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head in approvingly. Aaron's here? Oh, she's humming. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. It smells like music. Okay. Uh, hum. You hum a sad song. Shiren follows your melody. Sarah, Sarah, Sammy, Sammy. Ooh. Oh. She seems much more comfortable singing along. Okay. Bye. The northern room hides a great treasure. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Hmm. It's weird that these are all just hanging out here. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Huh. Whoa. It's a statue. The structure at its feet seemed dry. Please take one. Is this an umbrella? Yes. You took an umbrella. Can I do something about this? Put the umbrella on the statue. 
you place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Music continues and doesn't stop. Oh. Oh, that was the piano. Okay. Let's go back. Legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too many dogs. Dogs? Annoying dog. Put the dog on the ground. Oh, hi, buddy! <gasps> hey! Dog absorbs the artifact! No! Come back here! What?! The artifact is gone. What does this say? Ah, oh, stupid annoying dog. Took my artifact. <sighs> Lame. Okay. Okay, so we did the piano. Take another umbrella. Because I want one. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, hey, kid. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Okay. You're not even under the umbrella. It's cool that we can see ourselves, though. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> you messed up, kid. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. What is wrong with you? Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. <laughs> she, she's too cool to ever be hurt an innocent person. Well, she wants to hurt me and I'm an innocent person. Oh, this is cool. Whoa, where are you going? Now you're not coming with me? Oh. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Guess I'll return it. Yo, you going ahead. D don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. And fall on your face. Alright, I'm going back now. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, 
It could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Well, that's a happy note to end on. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Undertale. Join us next time when we figure out what the heck we're going to be doing with Undyne. Serene sound of a distant music box fills you with determination. Yeah, this should be interesting. Stick around. Bye.